Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn how to add the swagger to your Node.js REST API. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So you have to install this swagger UI Express and swagger JS doc. That is very important. Okay, so I'm going to use it on my running project. So let's try to add this. Okay, so make sure you have to install this Swagger JS Talk, Swagger UI Express. The rest of the things are also important. So this is done. Okay, now we have to go with the Swagger.js. We have to create this file Swagger.js into your root application. So let's create this. Okay, let's go with our configuration so this is basically configuration so i'm going to add this so uh, this is already port number 5000 so i'm going to use this one okay so this is what we have defined the definition open AI info. You have to mention version description, servers, description and routes. We have to go with the path to your route files. So already in the routes we have already the JS and uh, initialize the swagger JS doc and export the with the API doc. So this is our path. We are going to use it. Okay, so this is done. Now MongoDB connection in your app.js. So let's create the app.js file. Okay, so I'm going to create the app.js file. App.js. Let's create this. App.js. Let's add this code. We have a routes. Or uh, we can make it like auth. We have auth routes, right? So API user routes. Okay, so we will use this routes, right? So models we have already defined. So let's change it. Or oh, that will not going to create an issue. Let's update the models also. Models. We have a user.js. We have to comment the previous one. We have to use the over over here. Okay. So this is models we have created. Now we have to go with the routes. Swagger of it is routes user.js. Okay. So this is not there. So I need to update the users.js. So here we go with routes. Let's create a new route that is user.js where we have the all the routes. Define the routes for the grad operation on the user model and add the swagger documentation. So these are the routes we are going to define with swagger. Okay, retrieve all the users and everything. Okay, let's try to use it. So this is we have updated Node.js application we have to run. Okay, let's try to run it run so this is api docs is available on this so let's try to open the link so you can see node.js rest api with the mongodb and here we have the list of users if i want to retrieve you can try it out execute so here you can see that you cannot get the users it's 5000 let me check which port it is app.js It's in the 3000, I suppose, or port. Okay, okay. In the port is like this. Okay, so let's use it like 3000. Okay, let's go with the 3000 over here. And let's try to. App is running on 4000. This. Let's try to read. Open API docs. Let's try to get the order of the users. Try it out. Execute. Network to fetch the resource. What will happen? 
network error network error i think here it is 5000 not development server let's we have to check it out okay okay there is a issue in the swagger i suppose i have made this configuration here it is i have made the 5000 3000 save this let's try to rerun this okay let's try to update with this 3000 okay done let's try it out execute cannot get users let's have a look that this will help okay okay any other routes we have defined on oh, this is app.js right give me one second this is node app.js so this is our app.js let's check the routes slash api it should be slash api which is missing or we can make it like this okay also i think then it will work if now i will check let's try it out execute let's check with api okay there's a route and we have login okay okay then route i have mentioned app.js wait a second this is our documentation so it should be a user routes user okay and should we go with the user because here we have define all the documentation part okay let's restart it again let's have a look okay try it out execute let's look into it slash users slash users let's look into it so slash 3000 api users get and this is working over here i think the api endpoint is not coming over here all the request i guess okay so have there is an issue in our let's check this swagger so this is get router dot get users it is not slash users if i go with the api slash users then what will happen let's look into it so you can see api users if i try it out and execute now you can see the data is coming right so here you can see all the data whatever we have added it is coming over here okay so here you can see so this is documentation this is your endpoint get summary retrieve all the description responses description content application json schema type array items type object and this is your router okay so on the behalf of it it will give you the swagger documentation like this okay so this is how same you can do with this one users id so you can also fetch with the users id retrieve this information parameters in name schema type require description responses what type response you want okay so it will fetch give you that response according to it so this is how you are able to implement the swagger implement swagger into your api docs which is very important for the documentation purpose also because all of the things like it is it is over there you don't need to make a separate documentation for that one so it's better that you can make a swagger okay so this is how you can do that one and it's very important any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day